Cake Bakery. Um, I started this in 2010. Um, one of the first things I did um, in high school is learn how to decorate ice cream cakes. So I worked at Baskin Robbins. So I kind of always did that on the side for friends and family. Um, got a corporate gig and for 15 years I still kind of did that. Um, and just, just got a trend in my lifelong business. So it's my passion, it's my last name, it's everything. <laughs> Why did you choose to locate um, this bakery in Grand Rapids? Uh, you know, um, I lived in Heritage Hill for five years and worked out of the home, did the bakery actually out of the home for the first couple of years. And then a space, a beautiful space opened up on Wealthy Street in East Town um, and it was available and took the giant leap and moved into there, lived above it. Um, now it's a crepery. It's a windmill shaped building. It's really interesting, but 100 year old building. And um, loved it so much, didn't own it. Um, was there for five years. Decided to move to this location on East Fulton, which is only a mile away. Um, this is a newer build. It's much more efficient. Um, it's got air conditioning. Um, <laughs> I live a little above this one as well. But it's really fun having a retail space. Nice. I have a first starting a business. Oh my goodness. Uh, do your research. I mean, do your research with the community and the state of Michigan and figure out what is um, what's neat, I guess, of the necessity. A lot of times there's no one out there to tell you, you need to put in a vent system, you need to put in a hood, you need to have this amount of electricity going through your building. You know, there's a lot to know. Um, a lot of people have that built into them, but most don't. Um, so yeah, I guess do research and figure out your customer. Um, who is your target market? Um, well, um, women between 25 and 55. We've got, it's a huge segment, mm -hmm. but it, that's typically who we cater to. Nice. Birthday cakes and you know, brides. And so that's the whole day at work look like for you? Um, so it's baking every day from scratch, which is very unusual in this country. Most bakeries don't bake from scratch. Um, so it takes a lot of time to come in. We don't have to come in super early, so we don't use yeast, we don't make brides and that kind of thing. Um, but it's, it's baking off all the cookie, making all the cookie dough balls and then baking them off. After each other luck, it was a huge process. Um, but throughout the week, my decorators are here making cakes every day for um, a week, for the same week. Yeah. And then waiting on customers as they come. Favorite thing about working here? Oh my gosh, my staff. <laughs> and, and my customers, I gotta say that too, both. I love my staff, customers are so important. Um, probably the most important, we would be here if it wasn't for our great customers. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's just getting to, it's kind of like a same family. And we're only open Wednesday through Saturday, so it's nice to see them. But today's our Monday, it's Wednesday, today's our, our Monday, so it's nice to see my team again. Mm -hmm. And I live here, so it's, I don't know, it always feels like home here, you know. Yeah. So you're only open Wednesday <laughs> through Saturday yeah, from 10 to 3, is yeah. that because you do mostly like catering events? Correct, or? yeah, we do a lot of weddings on the weekends. Um, but we kind of chose those hours in the beginning. Um, we didn't feel like we should be open every day. It's like you gotta have a good work life balance, you know? You can't work every single day. Um, <laughs> um, and most, most places are not open every day. Most places are open five days a week. Um, so on the days we're not open, we're still working. Well, you know, it's, it's good and bad, but it is my workspace and my live space both. For the most part, very convenient. There's times where you kind of want to get away a little bit, you know, when you're not working. Um, it's challenging. The space, okay, the space constraints here are, are challenging. It's very small here. A tiny, tiny kitchen. We have one oven. I have a place in Holland, and we have a double oven, and four times the square footage. So a lot of times they, we farm out our orders to them, and they drive them over to us because they have a lot more space than us, a lot more capacity. So I would have to say space, and I can't really add on the way this building is built. I can't really yeah. blow out walls and stuff. But that would be what is your favorite product on the menu? Oh my gosh, my dark chocolate Merlot cupcakes are to die for. <laughs> Not only are they so good, they're so fun to make. <laughs> <laughs> so it's made with um, strong coffee, um, uh, dark chocolate, dark chocolate cocoa, and um, Merlot. So it's all the three good things in this world. <laughs> um, and then we top it with the blackberry Merlot ganache buttercream. It's, I mean, that was on a Food Network show in 2011, and um, I did that cupcake actually on the show. And the judge, who's she's great, she's amazing. She knows her product. She knows cupcakes. She has the best cupcakes she ever had. So I felt really good to hear that. Usually she's really grumpy. But yeah, that's definitely my favorite.